like you hold the advantage on the feet. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takeoff. Oh, now trying to ice. Cannot allow him on that angle. Strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Close guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 90 seconds to go. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. St. Pierre's right back to the full mount. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. St. Pierre's back in full mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Round two straight ahead. Round DC, a lot to like on both sides. Three, deep breath in for me. All right, listen. I need you to go out there, and I want you to do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns. You ready? You ready? St. Pierre gets touched by that kick to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, collar tie. Lands a switch knee. Oh. Just missed with the left there. What a body kick. play from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight not only is he the best one in the world, he may just be the toughest. The hip toss as he takes him down now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Well you know I don't like the D very much but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. 
All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Usman. St. Pierre's got the full mount. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. St. Pierre's right back to the full mount here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by George St. Pierre. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two. You ready? You ready? Crowd fired up, so are we. Third and final round. St. Pierre's kick to the body is blocked. Beautiful strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Not there. My single collar tie now. Whiffs up. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be very soon. Straight punch lands. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Working on a guillotine. playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Close guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. past the midway point of the third and final round. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Some high-level ground and pound here in D.C. When you're throwing hammer fists like this, you're not trying to score. You're trying to finish the job. You're not trying to score. You want to end the night of your opponent. And right now, that is exactly what 
what he is trying to do. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. They go the 15 minute distance, what a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a hook. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest for 9-28. To play the winner by unanimous decision, George Rush St. Pierre! All right, congratulations to...